I guess this is the movie that made everybody afraid of sharks. I don't know if I'm afraid of sharks but maybe I'm soon gonna be afraid of sharks. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ames. Am I gonna get this scared out of me? I don't know. I am normally a really hard person to jump scare. Let's see what happens. Let's get into this and roll tape. I'm about to eat my own goddamn words, aren't I? <gasps> the iconic Jaws movie. The iconic Jaws music. You know, it's something you hear your whole life, but never have seen. Bonfire hangout. I mean, at least you know they have to go into the water <laughs> to have anything happen to them, or we'll see. They kind of look like brother and sister. They have like the same hair. Why is she sitting all by herself? What? Chrissy. Where are we going? Swimming. Slow down. I'm not drunk. This cinematography looks really, really cool. I'm definitely coming. Whoa. Hold up. Skinny dipping. <laughs> she really convinced him really quick. I grew up with a lake serpent story. Oh, that's cool. So like. I think I'm more afraid of that than I am of a shark. <sighs> oh shit. It's passed out on the shore. Oh, oh my God. See the kids? They must be in the backyard. In the Amity, you say yeah. Mm -hmm. They're in the yard. <laughs> Mom, I got cut. I got hit by a vampire. Oh, God. Hello. That's what they usually do. Watch out for sure the Excuse me. I'll be out in about yeah, uh, 15, like 15, 15, 20 minutes. All right? Okay, so he's the police chief of Amity. Quaint little town. It's like a vacation town. It gets busier in the summertime. Amity Island welcomes you. Annual regatta. Nobody saw her go into the water? Somebody could have. I was, I was sort of passed out. She must have drowned. Holy heckin' doodle moly. That scared the living Jesus out of me. That's the jump scare. Come on. Oh no. All the crabs. How come she was so washed up so high? I guess because of the tide. Chief Brody's office. The medical inspector. <gasps> Shark. Shark attack. Hey, Chief. Where do we keep the beach clothes Chief. signs? Chief. They never oh, had any. No? Put out a warning about sharks in the area, so don't let anybody swim. I mean, pretty smart. <laughs> yep. A little pep in his step. Does a shark come to the regatta every 50 years? Start causing a ruckus? Boss, if I can't get service, He's gonna make the signs. They tell you that there's a bunch of Boy Scouts out in April Bay doing their mile swim for their merit badges. Beach is closed, no swimming. I order the Amity PD. Listen, we had a shark attack at South Beach this morning, Mayor. Fail, I've got to batten down the beach. <laughs> That town reminds me of the town, and I know what she did last summer. Frickin' loved those books by Lois Duncan. Loved that movie. Martin, you, you gonna shut down the beaches on your own authority? Amity is a summer town. We need summer dollars. If the people can't swim here, they'll be glad to swim at the beaches of Cape Cod. That doesn't mean we have to serve them up a smorgasbord. <laughs> well, what else could have done that to that girl? Boat the belly? Boating. That's not what you told me over the phone. I was wrong. Politics. Money. I don't think you appreciate the gut reaction people have to these things. You yell shark, we've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Ain't that the truth? You yell shark at the beach and people just freak out. 
I'm gonna get my raft and go back out in the water. Let me see your fingers. Are you wrinkly? Alex Kintner, they're beginning to prune. Just let me go out a little longer. No, not this kid. He's so cute. Shit. I'm not born here. You're not an island. Maybe. That's it. Not the dog. Well, the dog's gonna sense the shark and he's gonna get right out of there. Oh no. <gasps> Buddy. That sound was really brilliant. Like the lack of sound was so brilliant. That's somebody's head. I can't get down to the office in that garbage truck. Listen, if the kids go to the board, it was really weird. No. You don't go in the water at all, do you? Some bad hat, Harry. <laughs> Chief Brody, you are uptight. A girl was just found dead, eaten by a shark. Great, now all these kids are in the water. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. The dog. Steven Spielberg, if you killed the damn dog. I love the music is the shark's POV. Oh no, the kid on the raft. Nobody listen to you, buddy. Get out of the water, kids. Frickin' fish bait. That little kid on the raft. The frickin' dog, though. Tip it. I'll never forgive you, Steven. Alex is, oh, oh no. <sighs> that was really sad. A reward to kill the shark. Shit. Look, it's not just the Gazette. She's advertising an out-of-town paper. Chief frickin' warned y'all. But we wouldn't have a movie without it. So we could have avoided this child's death if everyone would have just listened to me. But no, this is about the dollars and cents. Not only me because I have a motel. How do you feel about it? Special questions. That three thousand dollar bounty on the shark and cash or check. <laughs> I don't think that's funny at all. Well, not when people's lives are lost. No, it's not funny, but it's funny. Then we're gonna try and use uh, shark spotters on the beach. Are you going to close the beaches? I think I think there's a yes, ghost in are. my house. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening today? Experts from the Oceanographic Institute on the mainland. Only 24 hours. 24 hours is like three weeks. <laughs> oh no, don't close the beach. Ah! Ah, that's the most awful sound in the world. No. You all know me. You know how I earn a living. I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. Bad fish. <laughs> The drawing. This shark, swallow you whole. I don't bring back the tourists. I don't put all your businesses on a paying basis. Okay, Irish? I value my neck a lot more than 3,000 bucks, Chief. Find him for three, but I'll catch him and kill him for ten. A bargaining man. You want to play cheap? Be on welfare the whole winter. <laughs> ten thousand dollars for me by myself. For that, you get the head, tail, the whole damn thing. Look at those mutton chops. <laughs> We'll uh, take it under advisement. Now it's up to you. No swimming, hazardous area, beach closed. <laughs> People don't even know how old sharks are. They were alive when the dinosaurs were alive and they survived. Wanna get drunk and fool around? Oh! Hey, Mikey really loves his present. Where is he? Sitting in it. Good. God. What? All right, Michael, out of the boat! Oh. Oh, he doesn't want them in the water. Get out of that boat! How is she not worried? He's not on the ocean, he is in a boat. I don't think he'll ever go in the water again after what happened yesterday. The shark can eat the boat, lady. I don't want that to happen, you know that. But I want him to read the boating regulations, the rules, before he goes out on his own. Better catch something, this is my wife's holiday roast. <coughs> Three thousand dollars buys an awful lot of roast. So then, no one else gets ten grand. Only that one guy bargained for the ten k. 
I love those sharks and finding Dory when they're all in like the group. I won't eat fish, wasn't it fish? Oh God, that just computed. Oh no, but they're not gonna be strong enough to, to rein them in. He's taking the Sunday roast. Oh shit. Swim for your life, Charlie. Come on, Charlie swim. Come on, John, keep Get out of the water. Go, go, go. Oh no, it's gonna be slippery. Oh, are we gonna see him? Oh, we got to safety in time. Can we go home now? <laughs> Smoking a pancake, bong in the blitz. Hello, Beck, young fella. How are you? Say, I hope you're not going out with those nuts, are you? Who's this young whippersnapper? That's dynamite. Where are you going with that? He's gonna try to get the shark with dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> They're all gonna die. <laughs> you, you gotta get somebody to help us. Yeah, get them. That's one way to get someone's attention. Uh, you know those eight guys in the fantail launch out there? Yeah. Well, none of them are gonna get out of the harbor alive. Is he a shark specialist, this guy? Tell me how I can find Chief Brody. Who are you? Matt Hooper. I'm from the uh, Oceanographic Institute. Oh, for Christ's sakes. You're the guy we called. The best thing for me to do is to uh, see the remains of the first victim, the girl on the beach. Mm. And tell him how big the shark is that they're dealing with. It's going to be like something they've never seen before. Oh, my God. The dog. Also, what happened to Tippett? The shark... The shark's not. Oh! Oh! Are they pouring blood into the water? <gasps> the victim can only be estimated from the partial remains. Oh. There are no major organs remaining. May I have a glass of water, please? He took all the nutrient dense things. Remaining. This was no boat accident. Did you notify the Coast Guard about this? It's only local jurisdiction. The rib cage are intact. Do not smoke in here. Thank you very much. It indicates the non frenzy feeding of a large squalus, Angemanus, or Asurus glaucus. Well, I don't know the Latin terms. Thank you very much. However, the attacking squalus must be considerably larger than any normal squalus found in these waters. It was a shark. <gasps> Oh no. All right. Now this is the shot I want with everybody He's and the gonna be like, that it. wasn't the squalus that did it. Its teeth weren't big enough. Come on, guys. Come on, please. I need a picture for the paper. We get the one row kneeling, one row standing. Mutton chops is like, that's not the one. Can you get that, please? How's that? But what kind? What kind of shark? It's a tiger shark. A what? Oh. A what? Right. What, what I am saying is that it may not be a shark. It's just a slight oh, I, and I want you to read some panics, but I don't want to get beaten up. Saying that this is not the shark. It probably is, Martin. It probably is. But the fact is that the bite radius on this animal is different than the wounds on the victim. Cut it open. Whatever it's eaten in the last 24 hours is bound to still be in there, and then we'll be sure. Oh, the little boy. And see that little Kettner boy spill out all over the dock. Oh no, they're not gonna do it in front of the mother, are they? Yes. She clubbed him. I just found out that a girl got killed here last week. Yeah, he tried to shut everything down. But you let people go swimming anyway. My boy is dead. I mean, it'd be so sad because there's like no remains. How do you bury your child? You can't. I mean, I feel for her, but he tried. I used to drink so much milk as a kid. I, th I thought they had an older kid. Scram. <laughs> well, Matt Hooper's back. Uh oh, did they do an autopsy? Whoa, look at that pork loin on his plate he hasn't touched. Is anyone eating this? No. No. <laughs> uh, yes, I have been studying sharks and that's why I know they still have a shark problem here. They caught a shark, not the shark. In three feet of water, about 10 feet from the beach. Yeah. You done your research, Chief. Shark, uh, that, 
that swims along. Rogue. What's it called? Rogue. 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 My favorite X-Men character. Why don't we have one more drink and go down and cut that shark open? Well, if you keep everybody out of the water and he can't eat for a while, then he'll just swim off. <laughs> what? Louisiana? Oh, you're going to be stinky. Got to close the beach, call the mayor. Got a bigger problem than that, Morton. Still got a hell of a fish out there with a mouth about this big. If he is a rogue, got a good chance of spotting him between Cape Scott and South Beach. We gotta find him right now, he's a night feeder. Well, I'm glad that we have this shark specialist with his theories. But he also ate that boy in the daytime. But in any one man can make a difference. You want a pretzel? Did you wash your hands? I know you were in gloves, but... <laughs> I pay for this mostly myself, actually. You're rich? Yeah. Bankrolled by the fam. They pay a guy like you to watch sharks? Doesn't make much sense for a guy who hates the water to live on an island, either. Mm. Well, it's a, it's a fish finder. There's something else out there. I'm just patiently waiting to get scared. Look, Morton, I've got to go down there and check their hull. Doesn't that seem a little bit dangerous? We can't lose the shark specialist. You're going in? He's going in. Don't worry, Martin. Nothing's going to happen. But you said he's a night feeder, for f***'s sakes. And he's drunk. <laughs> Boop. Oh, scratches, or is that just teeth? Is it its teeth? <gasps> oh, did he get a piece of his tooth? Oh. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Shit, it got me! It got me! No! Any shark expert in the world will tell you it's a killer. It's a man-eater. It's gonna happen again. It happened before. Was it July? It's like ringing the dinner bell for Christ's Look. sake. I pulled a tooth, and it was the tooth of a great white. Where is that tooth? Did you see it, Broden? Is it in your pocket? Oh, I didn't see it. He, he dropped it. I had an accident. Oh yeah, because he got scared. We're not only gonna have to close the beach, we're gonna have to hire somebody to kill the shark. Look at his suit. It has anchors all over it. Sick vandalism. Help, shark. I'm not gonna waste my time arguing with a man who's lining up to be a hot lunch. <laughs> Machine does is swim and eat and make little sharks. <laughs> little baby sharks. Love to prove that, wouldn't you? Get your name into the National Geographic. <laughs> I love when these movies, when there's so many warning signs, people telling them all these things, and then nobody listens. Christ's sake, tomorrow's the 4th of July. But those beaches will be open for this weekend. Oh, everyone's coming in. Look at all that shark bait. It's packed. Cloud in the shape of a killer shark. <laughs> From what I've learned in this movie, they like those floaties. I thought that sharks don't actually like the way we taste. That's why like we usually lose a limb or whatever, because they have a chomp and then they're like, bleh. So they don't finish eating us. But I don't know. I don't know if that's fully true. Hans for all the John just ran off on her. Y'all are brave. Naive and brave. I'm not gonna get eaten by a shark. False alarm. I see, so they have like all the parole, so they're just like expecting to see a shark fin or something. The beaches are open and the people are having a wonderful time. <laughs> <gasps> Go! Shark 350! <laughs> this is gonna cause a panic for sure. But isn't he already in there? Oh my god! Okay, lady, don't get paralyzed. Continue and try to get out of the water. <laughs> Imagine they're like, just kidding. Oh, that guy fell. I don't feel bad for you, Mayor. <gasps> you little shit. You made me do it. Aren't there people in the pond? Michael's in the pond. Run! Because <laughs> does no one see the shark fin? You guys okay over there? Oh, 
my God, I swam right past, swam right past him. Whoa, everybody's so tanned. Oh, is the man survived with one leg? Oh, no. Shock. I sure hope you feel guilty, Mr. Mayor. I'm truly sorry. I sign this voucher so I can hire a contract. Mutton chops, man. Still calculating the numbers? God. Pay that guy what he wants. Sign it, Larry. Get the mayor off my back. This guy is the best negotiator I think I've ever seen. Is Hooper gonna go with him? Whoa. Whoa. Some moonshine? As to swimming with bow-legged women. Oh, he's batted out. Is he like carrying them or something? You're gonna need an extra hand. Yeah, he said he wasn't gonna take anyone with him. I'm talking about finding a great white. Just tie me a sheep shank. Haven't had to pass basic seamanship in a long time. How's that? <laughs> my party it's my charter my vessel and i'm captain take him for palace chief g what are you some kind of half-ass astronaut <laughs> jesus h christ <laughs> shot or a monkey cage anti-shark cage to, to you fair spanish ladies i don't know if i would do that if i would go in a cage in the water around sharks Maybe I would. I'm actually more afraid of being in the water and drowning than the shark, I think. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I love this old curmudgeon -y man. Tell him I'm going fishing. Shit. So you got your rubbers? <laughs> like his boots? <laughs> 15 years, she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this vicinity. <laughs> This guy's making the movie for me. Quint is just so hilarious. Uh-oh, she's fallen apart. She kept it together. Now it's like, shit, he could die. Orca. Oh my gosh, that's the best name. I love Orca so much. The wolves of the sea, baby. <laughs> this cheery music is not going to be cheery for much longer. Thank you very much. Are they also doing the blood trail trick? He's got a sonar. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Let's drop another chum marker. What? row. Oh no. Just screw around with these tanks and they're gonna blow up. Man, you don't want those things exploding though. What's gonna do with it? Might eat it, I suppose. Yeah, throw one of those into the Jaws' mouth. Boom. It can't be him. Is he strapping it in, in case he's got a... I don't think it's gonna be that easy. He's got under the boat. I think he's got under the boat. It's not a shark. I'm buckling me. Oh no. Quinn's gonna meet his maker. Don't have the education enough to admit when you're wrong. Quinn's too good to die. I maybe thought he was gonna die there. I guess he's really stankin' good at this. Ooh. Why is it gotta be all bloody like? Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god! It's like, did anyone else see this? Because he's right here. You're gonna need a bigger boat. <gasps> Shut off that engine. That's a 20 footer. 25. Oh, he's circling them. Oh, oh, God. Bring him in for dinner. We won't be long. We haven't seen anything yet. Don't go out. <laughs> He's the best. You better have good aim. Shoot! Oh. Mm, interesting cut shots from Mark to Quint. That would have been fun to shoot. Oh, I get absolutely so seasick. And car sick. I don't know if it's because I've had so many concussions in my life, but oh, boo. Mm. Wow, some beautiful sunset shots. It won't be permanent. I want to see something permanent. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> ah, it's like a hockey player. <laughs> something permanent. I thought he was going to pull out his nipple there. Used to be a little lump. Got that beat. Ooh, big scar from a shark. Eel. 
Oh. Entered an arm wrestling contest in Loki Bar, San Francisco. Got to the semifinal, celebrating my third wife's demise. Over the top, baby! <laughs> well, now they're all becoming friends. That's gross. It's a bull shark. It's a one upper fest. <laughs> Put your tooth back in. Mary Ellen Moffat. Oh, broke your she heart. She broke my heart. <laughs> Goofballs. Vessel went down in 12 minutes. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. Right into your soul. Rip you to pieces. Sobering. So 1,100 men went in the war. 316 men come out on the 29th, 1945. Whoa. He's mad. Well, if he said he's three tons, it's like Titanic. Dingy to get out of here <laughs> in case this boat goes under. Don't waste your time, quick. Once again, now. This pesky little bastard. Well, they're stranded, so they better kill this thing. If we can get close enough, I've got things on board that'll kill him. This doesn't look very efficient. <gasps> I'm gonna make a phone call. At a time like this. Coast Guard, this is the Orca, do you? I thought he was gonna kill him. You're certifiable, Quint, you know that? Yeah. I think he's come back for his noon feed. <laughs> 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 they did a pretty good job with the blow up shark. This guy's taken a few beatings. The music is kind of confusing me. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be a little bit more heroic. Whoa. <laughs> <My> shark abuse. <laughs> Two barrels and he's going down again. Oh, you're gonna make him even more mad because he didn't get anything in his noon feeding. Well, why don't we start leading the shark into shore instead of him leading us out to sea? I just don't like this whole thing. I was waiting for somebody to get pulled overboard. Oh no. Are those the thing on board that he has that can kill him? I don't know, they keep panning to that. He's working his way right up to us. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, right through the jaws. You need a bigger boat. Cut him loose or you guys are gonna go down. I thought the barrels were gonna fill with water and then like sink him and then he would die. I guess that's wrong. You ever have one do this before? I don't know. Chasing us, I don't believe it. Well, you pissed him off and he's hungry. You ever had a great white dude? No. <laughs> I love how moody Hooper is. Oh, what's going on down there? I keep going to it, I'm scared. Nobody is in the mood, Quint. Stop the boat! Jesus H. Christ! He effed you guys. He really did. He said he was never gonna put on a life jacket again, though. Oh, they're sinking! What exactly can you do with these things of yours? Pump 20 cc's of strictly nitrate into him, if I can get close enough. You got any better suggestions? <laughs> Finally listening to Hooper. Oh, so he needs that so he can scuba dive and be in the cage. I got no spit. Because you're dehydrated? Try to keep him off me until I'm lower. Okay, okay, I'm ready. <sighs> Shit. He's coming at each. This movie should be called, see? Great Lengths, because they've gone to great lengths to get him! <laughs> no! Oh! Knife fight with the great white. Look at those 
razor sharp fangs. Is he gonna go get his thing? He ate that cage for breakfast. Whew. Don't slide into his mouth. No! Woo! The crunch, the crunch. No, he always oh, got his torso. Oh no! No! Oh, he's still stabbing him though. Damn it, I loved that guy. He finally met his maker. God, and now the ship is going down. <gasps> Relentless. <gasps> ah! He did throw it in. But how is it going to blow up? How much air does Hooper have? That's what I want to know. All going to be up to you, chief. Is that a tooth just left floating on the water? Oh, he still has a thing in his mouth. I can't help but laugh. This guy has been punctured so many times. Blow up! Smile, you son of a... <laughs> ah, yes! He blew him up! Honest to God, I had no idea. <laughs> oh, man. You guys did it. Quit. No. I used to hate the water. That's right. I can't imagine why. <laughs> That's it. I guess there's no better way to end it. Live shark footage. I was wondering if some of the swimming under the water was not fake because I don't know how they would have done that with like a rubber shark because it looked with like its gills and stuff it looked quite real what an epic death for the shark oh my god <laughs> and the beach is now safe again thank you chief thank you Cooper and thank you Quint you sacrificed your boat the orca and your own life wow Okay, so I have a bit of beef with Mr. Steven Spielberg. You killed the Black Lab at the beginning of the movie, and I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. <laughs> I'm a lover of horror, suspense, all that stuff. I think for 1975 seeing this, it would have been absolutely so terrifying. I definitely can see why this is on the top 100 best movies of all time on the a AFI list. Uh, just the way it's filmed, the cinematography, the pacing of it, the stylistic shots, and I can see how this is a classic. What I felt was really powerful was the way he used music, especially with the muting of certain sounds and then them being on the top of the water, the iconic jaw sound, dun 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 something that I definitely have heard my whole life and people would play this in pools, you know, get eaten by the shark and stuff. Another score by John Williams, who's amazing, who did Star Wars and Indiana Jones, all those classic themes that we know and love that are near and dear to our heart. The music and the shark itself was relentless. He just would never stop. He needed to eat, he wanted to chomp on some yummy, yummy humans. <laughs> Spielberg is known for changing the concept of a summer blockbuster that is huge and pivotal in the world of cinema. This movie definitely stands the test of time. It is huge in pop culture and pop culture references. I think because this movie was so groundbreaking, it was so thrilling, it was so scary and like, so it's so simple and it makes you feel so vulnerable mixed in with the classic music i definitely think that this has a huge impact in our film pop culture i am so happy that i have finally watched this this was incredibly fun i definitely watch movies from a different lens i love cinematography i love special effects makeup animatronics acting and so when i'm watching maybe i pull myself out of the film 
film, but for me, that's what makes film so much more incredible for me to watch because I think I look at it through many different lenses. And I'm not an expert in all of the fields of filmmaking, but I definitely have a great respect for all the different departments that in a whole make a movie. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I am so grateful to have you here and watching movies with me. If you love movies, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're feeling it, and if you've been hanging out on my channel and you haven't yet already subscribed. If you wanna check out more unedited watch-alongs, you can hit the link, check out my Patreon, and see if you wanna join me and the rest of the little Goombas over there. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next reaction. Ciao.